It is called in Greek Enipneon Segalasio Fondo, that is uh, in English Dream on a Light Blue Background. Να κατεβαίνει εντό σου τι κάλε και να σβήνει τα φώτα. Κι αν δεν τα σβήσει, πάλι μονάχα σκοτάδι θα βρει. Κι ύστερα πιο βαθιά, πυκνότερο σκοτάδι, όπω του δράκου τη σπηλιά. Εγώ, ο Αγιώργη, θα λυτρώσω την πεντάμορφη, που την κρατώ εχμάλωτη στα σπλάχνα μου. Εγώ, ο δράκο. to descend the stairs within you and to turn off the lights. And if you don't turn them off, you shall still find only darkness, and then later, deeper, denser darkness, like that in the cave of the dragon. I, St. George, shall free the all beautiful one, whom I hold captive in my guts, I, the dragon. I will continue with a poem of my second book uh, that was published in uh, 2006. The poem is titled The Winter Swimmer. Eteocles and Polynikis killed each other. Antigone was rolled up alive. <coughs> Ismene took her father by the hand and went his way. The third son of Oedipus stayed in the city. He studied much, did sound work, applied himself to a host of sports. He was gregarious, avoiding the immoderate. Learning was what he really loved. He was the right-hand man of all the kings that followed. He married their daughters. He also ruled himself during crucial transitional periods. He waged no wars, always gracious to men and women. He didn't sing, but nonetheless regularly attended concerts. Discreetly, he adored female singers. He never used words like, I adore. Many women would have willingly laid their white necks on his knees, treating him to blood to give him a little color, but he just smiled cares their hair, solid with his thoughts, impervious. Nor would it have ever passed through your mind if you'd known him that this man nursed on the burning hot darkness from Jocasta's sublime breast. I come now to a more recent poem.